This is Ekapada Prasarita Padottanasana, otherwise known as standing splits. Beginning in Uttanasana, a forward fold. On the inhale, glance out halfway, lengthen your spine and your back. Maybe you'll come up onto your fingertips, but if you notice that you cannot lengthen your spine, you can always place blocks underneath the hands to get the proper length through your back body, knowing that the intention is to keep the back body long. If you don't need the blocks, slide those out of the way and place the fingertips back underneath the shoulders for support. Keeping the gaze beyond the fingertips, on the inhale, lift your right leg, the height of your right hip, as you continue to rotate your outer right hip down down toward the floor, your inner right thigh toward the sky, flexing your foot, your toes pointing down, and your right heel driving back. As you have the space and the flexibility, start to fold yourself in, walking your hands back until your fingertips align with your toes. With your fingertips aligned with your toes, most of us will pause right here and take a few breaths. If you feel like you can take it deeper, then feel free to wrap your right forearm around your right calf, drawing your face towards your shin, or maybe even taking both hands around your ankle, coming into what's often referred to as supreme balancing within standing splits. Continuing to wrap the outer right hip down toward the floor, we're working for strength in this pose rather than flexibility. Plant your hands back down toward the floor, and if you're working toward flexibility in this shape, you might take the right leg higher up toward the sky, and eventually, maybe, the hip opens up a little bit. Otherwise, continuing to square the hip down toward the floor is the pose that we work for when we're working for strength through the hips. Take a deep inhale at the top. As you exhale, lower the right foot down to meet the left, fold in half. This is Ekapada Prasarita Padottanasana, standing splits.